All right, we're gonna do some a workout here for hip strength. We're gonna start with some triplane lunges and we're going to really focus on the glute medius here. So let's go ahead and get a little space here and uh, let's go for it. So you're gonna lunge forward, reach down towards the ground. If you can, give that ground a nice little touch. We're gonna try 10 each side. Three, good. So you're selecting how far you go out, kind of self-selected, good. And that's got to be pretty close to 10 right there. Okay, now let's try that side to side. So we're going here. Touch that ground. Keep those feet nice and straight forward. Excellent. One more time each side. Good, now we've got to take that lunge and we're gonna rotate back. Again, reaching down towards that ground. It's gonna help, that reach down is gonna help us increase the length and the strength of our glutes. Good. All right, one more time each side. A bad counter. Okay, so it's called the common lunge matrix with a reach to the ground. Now let's try the uncommon. So you're gonna try a straight back lunge. Hands are gonna follow that back foot. So backwards lunge, reach down and back. Try to come up nice and tall when you finish. One more time each side. I'll let you be the counter. Okay, now let's try crossing over and then reach down. Cross over and reach down. Try to keep those feet straight, the feet flat, and then bend the knees and come and reach down. Two more. Good. Good. Okay, now the last motion here is gonna be rotation across. So we're gonna take the foot, reach across, keep the planted leg straight, reach down. Last two. Told you I'm a bad counter. Okay, so that was our common and uncommon lunge matrix with hands reaching to the ground for our hip strength. Now let's try a squat matrix with our hands reaching down towards the ground as well. And what we'll do here is we'll start with our feet shoulder width apart. Five times I want you to or squat down and come back up. Squat down, come back up. Trying to keep your lower back neutral. Bend your knees, your ankles, your hips. And five, okay. Now try feet wide. Again, feet are straight but wide. Reaching down to the ground, come right back up. One more time, good. Now let's go feet nice and narrow. So by changing our foot position, 
that's going to also give us more mobility and length in our hip muscles, which then will naturally create more strength and power. Good. Now, let's focus on rotation here. Let's go toes out. Again, we're reaching down to the ground, coming right back up. Now let's go toes in. It's a little tough, a little tougher on this one. Keep those toes in, feet flat. Last one, good. Now we've got two more, right foot forward, left foot back, so our feet are staggered. Try to keep the feet flat, touch that ground, come right back up. Five, now switch them so the left foot's forward and the right foot's back. And again, come down and up. Now notice we're not using any weights. You can use weights if you want to in your hands. Okay, we're gonna start now with uh, hip strength and we're gonna focus on glute strength with rotation. So we're gonna take our common and uncommon lunge matrix we're gonna try 10 each, so 10 each leg, and uh, we'll go for it. So let's start with rotating over that front leg. So I'm gonna lunge forward, rotate over that leg, and come on back. Good. This is great for any of you rotational athletes. The hips are the most important part of your strength and power. We're on eight, I think. Now try side to side lunges, and again, you're gonna to rotate to that same side. So we're on three, three, four, four, how about seven? I'm seven? Oh. So yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. How about nine? <laughs> nine, and one more each side. Keep those feet straight. Rotate across that side you step to, or lunge to. Now let's rotate back. Rotate, keep the front leg straight. This one, and turn. Good. Good. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, and last one each side. 10 and 10. Whew. Okay, now let's try the uncommon lunge matrix with rotation over the side you step to. So we're gonna go backwards, lunge, but then I'm gonna rotate to the same side I step back with. Good job, Aaron. Try to keep both feet straight, that's a challenge. Nine, nine, and 10 and 10, what? Seven. Okay, now I'll cross over. So we're going across and then rotate to the same side, or the leg that you lunged over across with to that side. Keep those feet straight. Okay, we got one more. We're gonna rotate here across the body, and then we're gonna rotate here. So rotate across, rotate across. So if I lunge left, leg moving, I'm gonna reach left. Right, I'm gonna reach right. 
I feel a big stretch there. Wow. Good, try to bend those knees, it's hard. Again, if you're at home, you can add weight if you want to. Can increase your reps. Let's do one more time each side. I lost count. Good job. All right, let's try one more. So we're gonna get the hips with the lunges, but we're gonna try to increase that side to side motion. So let's start over. We'll decrease our reps. We'll go down to five each side, so 10 total. How about forward lunge, hands up, side to side, and then come back out of it. Here, side to side, come back out of it. One more time each side. Good, good. Now let's try that side to side lunge. Side lunge, hands go side to side. Side lunge, hands go side to side. One more time each side. Good. So we'll rotate our legs, our lunge, but our hands are still going side to side. Get those arms up overhead. One more time each side. Excellent. So that was our hip strength circuit with rotation as well as side to side motion. All right, we're gonna show you a, a way to use what you have available, so the step, in order to strengthen your hips in three planes of motion. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna step up on the step with both feet. Now, the higher the surface, the harder this is, so we're gonna start with this. And what I wanna do here is I'm gonna slowly decelerate my body by taking, let's start with my first, uh, my right leg first. We're gonna do a nice gentle tap back and then you come right back up nice and tall, but I'm not gonna step down, I'm just gonna tap. So we're gonna tap it, we're gonna come right back up, we're gonna try that 10 times. And if you reach those hands out in front of you, that's gonna give you more, uh, more emphasis on your, on your hips. Let's switch feet 10 times. Try to come up nice and tall when you finish so you can get the full excursion through the hip. That's 10, okay. Now we're gonna turn and we're gonna do the side to side motion because we know our hips are gonna need to be strong in three planes of motion. Exactly right, you're gonna take the, and come on back here. Tap it real lightly, try to go right to your side directly. Remember it's a nice gentle tap down, it's not a step. What do you got? Okay, now let's turn it, we gotta get the other leg. So we're gonna turn, my left leg's gonna tap down on the side and come right back up nice and tall. Two more, nine and 10, good job. Now we've gotta do the rotation. So it's a tough one for most people. I'm gonna go back to my left leg being on there. My right leg's gonna turn and tap. Try not to step down, it's a hard one. Good job. Good, one more. Okay, now last one. We're gonna turn and tap to the left. Come right back up. Okay. 
Good job. That's a quick hitter for hip strength using a step.